He is a high-profile Houstonian and career politician. But tonight, former Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst is also a crime victim. Dewhurst assaulted in his home in River Oaks. And investigators say that attack was at the hands of his longtime girlfriend. Prosecutors saying it all started as an argument that escalated to violence. Leslie and Karen accused of physically hurting Dewhurst on two separate occasions. Channel 2's Phil Archer was the first to report Dewhurst's injuries on our new newscast. He's live downtown where Karen was booked into jail. Phil? Yeah, those assaults allegedly happened over the course of the last week at Dewhurst, Dewhurst River Oaks townhome. The girlfriend, the woman charged in that case, still in jail tonight, facing a charge of elder abuse. Last March, Leslie Ann Karen posted a video of herself and longtime boyfriend David Dewhurst killing time in self-isolation by taking the flip the switch challenge. Leslie Caron? This morning, Karen was in court charged with physically attacking Dewhurst, Good morning, Mr. not Mr. once, but twice. It allegedly happened at Dewhurst townhome where they were both living. On May 13th, during an argument, Karen, who's 40, allegedly kicked Dewhurst, 74, in the ribs and then left. Four days later, she returned and the argument resumed. At which time um, their verbal argument continued and she once again assaulted him. This time the assault included her, her kicking him in the ribs as well as hitting him with a pot, scratching him and biting him. Afterwards, Dewhurst discovered two of his ribs had been broken. Governor Dewhurst was recovering at home today, but he declined to talk with us about the assault. This afternoon, though, he sent out a brief written statement saying, quote, I'm not interested in filing any charges against Leslie. She's a remarkable woman with many fine attributes. I wish her all the best in life. But Karen is already charged with injury to an elderly individual. The judge setting her bond today at $10,000 with a stipulation she have no further contact with David Dewhurst. This afternoon, Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says it's a reminder that domestic abuse impacts all levels of society and that those cases have increased since the COVID lockdown began. Men can be the victims of domestic abuse and uh, both physical and uh, psychological abuse. Uh, and so, uh, we're just glad that that didn't end in, uh, in more serious uh, bodily injury. The charge against Karen is a third-degree felony. It's punishable by up to 10 years in prison if she's convicted. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.